Did you know Burt Reynolds went to his deathbed claiming that actress Sally Field meant more to him than either of his two wives, and that Sally claims Burt was being completely delusional about the whole thing? During the filming of 1977's Smokey and the Bandit, the two stars started up a romance. According to Sally, they both knew that after filming wrapped, there was something more to their fling. The pair ended up having a several-year-long romance that was tabloid fodder. Burt was the older and more famous of the two, and Sally claims she soon felt she was losing her identity in the relationship as a result of his controlling demeanor. Join Facts First as Sally Field shows the ugly side of her relationship with Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds thought Sally Field's talent made her sexy. Much has been made of the several years the two were romantically involved. Their romance began during the filming of Smokey and the Bandit, though apparently they knew each other from before. In fact, it was Burt who helped Sally get her part in the film. The studio apparently alleged that Sally wasn't sexy enough for the part, and Burt fired back that Sally had acting talent, and that talent made her sexy. Burt's insistence that the studio hire Sally to play her role in Smokey and the Bandit paid off, as the film was a success success and made both Bert and Sally bigger stars than ever. Bert certainly put his money where his mouth was when it came to pitching Sally to the studio. But Bert did, in fact, find Sally's talent to be sexy, and he wasn't able to keep his hands off her while filming. Bert was known for wooing co-stars. Burt Reynolds had hooked up with his co-stars on his films plenty of times before, but he claims to have known right from the beginning of their relationship that there was something different about Sally. While Burt had dated other stars for periods of years and had even been married to actress Judy Carn for several years in the 60s, there was something about the several-year-long romance with Sally Field that came to define the actor's personal life. He had plenty of romances, but he went to his deathbed claiming Sally Field had been the love of his life. In the years leading up to the actor's death, he'd made comments insinuating that he deeply regretted how short their time together had been. However, comments made by Sally Field in the wake of Burt's death suggest that maybe the actor was being a bit delusional when it came to how much importance he was placing on the short-lived relationship. Sally claims Burt was no good for her. According to Sally Field, Burt Reynolds was simply no good for her and their relationship fell apart naturally. She has no regrets about how it ended and she feels Burt placed a false importance on her later in his life simply because she'd been the one who got away. It seems that Sally feels Burt went to his deathbed valuing her more than any of his other former lovers because she'd been the one who had been the least attainable. This revelation from Sally was published in her memoir released after Burt Reynolds' death. According to Sally, she hadn't initially intended to publish it, which which resulted in her perhaps being a bit more open about things that happened in the past than she should have been. But with Bert gone, she felt free to let the dark details of their relationship spill out into the public. Sally claims she was initially flattered by Bert's insistence that she somehow had been the love of his life, but that it got creepy by the time he passed away. The History of Sally and Bert's Romance Sally and Bert had only known each other for a short period before production on Smokey and the Bandit, but their relationship quickly progressed during the movie's production. According to Sally, the intensive nature of the film shoot made them bond quicker than they would have otherwise, and they left the filming feeling as if they had a future. Both stars felt their relationship was more than a simple love affair, and they quickly made their romance public. For the next several years, the celebrity couple of Sally Field and Bert Reynolds was a big thing. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already, and stick around for more about Sally and Bert. Sally and Bert continued to work together. Following Sally and Bert's successful work together in Smokey and the Bandit in 1977, they continued appearing together in films. Meanwhile, their relationship was blossoming into something more and more serious. They could be seen together in the films Hooper and The End, both of which were released in 1978. In 1980, they reunited on screen for the sequel Smokey and the Bandit 2. There was an imbalance of power. Sally wasn't all that far into her career at the time she met Burt, and the much bigger actor proved a pretty big influence over the younger actress. Quickly into their relationship, there proved to be an imbalance of power, as Sally found herself often changing who she was to please her elder companion. In the beginning, she embraced the influence Burt had over her lifestyle. But by the end of the relationship, Sally claims she began to feel she was lacking her own identity. Sally claims she ceded to Bert's controlling nature at first because the older actor made her feel special. But as she began to bend herself to fit his needs, she realized it wasn't truly her the star was attracted to. As Bert began pushing for Sally to marry him, the actress found herself denying the request. This only made Bert more adamant, and these feelings apparently only grew inside Bert following the disillusion of their relationship. 
Sally refused to marry Bert, so he broke things off. Burt Reynolds apparently asked Sally Field to marry him many times, and she repeatedly said no. Burt ended up cheating on Sally and breaking off the relationship as a result. Previously, he had broken off his several-year-long relationship with talk show host Dinah Shore after she had denied his continued requests for marriage. It was later revealed Dinah had said no because of a cancer diagnosis she had kept a secret, while Sally denied Burt's request because she was simply unsure if he was really the one. Burt Reynolds had many romantic regrets. Burt went to his deathbed claiming Sally had been the perfect companion and that it had simply been in his nature as a man to screw the relationship up. He passed away in 2018 at age 82. At that point, he and Sally had long since ceased any and all communication. According to Burt, this was because they simply lived too far apart. But Sally would likely have a much different interpretation. Burt may have placed a ridiculous amount of importance on women like Sally Field and Dinah Shore as a result of them being the ones who managed to get away. But the actor certainly had no trouble finding romantic partners over the years. But he always made it clear to his prospective partners that getting married and having kids was his endgame. Sadly, he never achieved it properly. Burt Reynolds' second and last wife Burt's second wife was Lonnie Anderson, whom he married in 1988 and divorced in 94. They had met while filming Stroker Ace. Of course, Lonnie was a TV star known for her tenure on WKRP in Cincinnati. Over the course of their marriage, they adopted a son. Finally, Burt was granted his wish of having a child. That child is Quentin Anderson Reynolds. Oddly, Sally Field went on to marry also at the end of her and Bert's relationship, and she divorced from her spouse the same year Bert divorced from Lonnie. Sally had been married once previously, from 1968 to 75. That was to a man named Alan Stephen Craig, while her second marriage was to a man named Alan Graceman. Sally is now 75 years old and still working, with one of her recent notable acting credits being in 2012's Lincoln. Now it's time to hear from you. What was the most surprising part of this story to you? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.